Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So earlier this week, I let you know that Microsoft had acknowledged that Windows 11 can be installed on unsupported PCs. And as mentioned in that video, which will be linked down below and in the end screen, this is obviously Microsoft's increase in efforts to push Windows 10 users onto Windows 11, because according to Microsoft, Windows 10 support will be ending next year in October 2025. Now go check that video out because it has gained quite a lot of interest. Now in Microsoft's increase in efforts to push Windows 10 users onto Windows 11, and with the fast approaching end of support of Windows 10 next year, Microsoft in this blog post, dated the 3rd of December, has now um, found it necessary and important to revisit a key minimum system requirement for Windows 11, which is the dreaded Trusted Platform Module TPM2 requirement, which has caused a lot of debate since the rollout of Windows 11 a couple of years ago, and I think has single-handedly been the biggest issue when it comes to Windows 10 users being unable to upgrade um, to Windows 11. So obviously with that end of support um, date getting closer, Microsoft has found it necessary now um, to try and explain why TPM2 is a necessity for a secure and future-proof Windows 11. And I think this may cause a bit of debate. Now this article will be linked down below in the description, but I'm just going to go over some of the key highlights for the purpose of this video because it is quite an in-depth article. Now first of all, what is TPM? Okay. Now if we head over on Windows 11 to my Windows Security app, Device Security, here is TPM, Security Processor, which provides additional encryption for your device. And here we get specification version TPM2. Now according to Microsoft, um, TPM refers to a dedicated chip or firmware that offers hardware level security services for your device. They also say it securely houses encryption keys, certificates, passwords, and sensitive data, shielding them from unauthorized access. So that is what TPM is all about, in case you are unaware, and that's according to Microsoft. Now, something else to take note of is that unlike TPM 1.2, version 2 works with additional features like Secure Boot, which as you may well know is another Windows 11 requirement, and Windows Hello. And because of this, Microsoft also gives us a couple of benefits of using TPM2 according to the actual um, blog post. And according to Microsoft, the first benefit is that it provides a vastly more efficient and secure platform for Windows 11 to use through advanced encryption methods, improved industry standard cryptography, and increased isolation and better, and it offers greater um, security functions. Okay. Another reason um, that Microsoft gives us as a benefit for TPM2 is they say it plays a crucial role in enhancing identity and data protection on Windows devices as well as maintaining the integrity of your system. So those are just one or two benefits according to Microsoft um, why TPM is a necessity and is basically non-negotiable according to this article. Now talking about non-negotiable, if we head back to the article and we scroll down to this section, it seems that TPM Two is yet to stay. Because if you have a look at this section here, Microsoft says, by instituting TPM2 as a non-negotiable standard for the future of Windows, we elevate the security benchmark. It allows you and us to better align with the growing need um, for formidable data protection in the modern digital sphere. So according to Microsoft, TPM is a non-negotiable standard. So it's yet to stay. So they're not going to negotiate. That will be a requirement and will not change if you want to upgrade to um, Windows 11. Now, talking about TPM being non-negotiable, I have posted a video back in the day of how you can actually see if your PC has TPM2 to upgrade to Windows 11, um, from Windows 10 to Windows 11. And I'll link that video down below in the end screen because it's, it's just a quick um, uh, command you can run in um, PowerShell without having to rely on any third-party software. 
Now getting back to um, TPM. According to Microsoft, basically what they say, if we go back to that article, being non-negotiable and a necessity. If we go right down to the bottom of this article, Microsoft says this. In conclusion, TPM2 is not just a recommendation, it's a necessity for maintaining a secure and future-proof IT environment with Windows 11. Okay, so some interesting stuff going on here. And something else regarding um, this article is Microsoft, because obviously they are getting desperate now, to um, move people on to Windows 11 from Windows 10 because of that up and coming fast approaching end of support. If we head to this section in the article before I finish this video, yeah, I think Microsoft, once, as I would say on the channel, is getting a little bit cheeky. Because if we have a look at this bottom of the paragraph, Microsoft says this regarding TPM2. TPM2 enhances security by ensuring that only verified software is executed and protecting confidential details. It's true that its implementation might require a change for your organization. Obviously, yeah, they are addressing organizations and enterprises. And that change, why I'm saying they are being cheeky here, is that means you'll have to go out and purchase a new PC if your current Windows 10 device, as an example, does not have TPM2. And they say, yet it represents an important step toward more effectively countering today's intricate security challenges. So as I mentioned at the beginning um, of this video, Microsoft is obviously increasing its efforts to push Windows 10 users onto Windows 11 because earlier this week they acknowledged that Windows 11 can be installed on unsupported PCs and a couple of days later Microsoft is saying now it's a non-negotiable necessity for a secure and future-proof Windows 11. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm sure this will gain a bit of interest and debate. Do you think that TPM2 is a necessity? to be able to run Windows 11, let me know your thoughts. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.